Hey guys, what's going on? So, a lot of people have been asking me in the comments, and my stream specifically, saying, Hey, what's your settings? Hey man, what kind of hardware do you use? What's my sensitivity? Do you have any tips? What's some new tips for a solo player or a new player? And it's becoming so <laughs> relevant and so widely asked that I decided to make a episode on just basic, basic uh, tips that I have from from hours and hours grinding this game over and over that I can provide for the new players of Rust. So so far, let's go. First things first, let's go into our settings, of course, and check that out. So because keep in mind that I, when I'm playing this game, I'm streaming and recording and playing this game all at the same time. So I can't really afford to play at the maximum quality of the settings that a lot of other people can. But um. So, these are my graphics, my performance graphics. It's usually random. I just keep it at 20-30% so it's easier on the eyes. As well, it's just, um... As well, it's just... I don't want it to be potato graphics and it looks like I'm playing Minecraft RP, you know? Uh... Audio, here's my audio. I tend not to play music so I can hear footsteps easier. We'll get more into the audio later on. My mouse sensitivity is 0 0.2 and I also play on 400 DPI. And my graphics... I have all my image effects off, and my graphics quality, here it is. I like having my draw distance a bit high so I can see targets from farther distances away so I can spot them. And all this is just because my computer can't handle streaming, recording, and playing this game all at the same time. Maybe it'll change up once my stream PC arrives. My options, I play on 75 field of view. A lot of people, I see a lot of people playing with the field of view and whatnot, making it larger, making it smaller. And I don't know, I've just been playing on default for a long while a very long time but if it works for you then I have no problem with that man if you're able to hit shots and whatnot I personally can't play with anything but 75 and my resolution is also 1920 by 1080 so first let's go into hardware uh, I see a lot of people playing with like ridiculous deep like playing with like, like sh a shit ton of mouse sensitivity man like like something like this where you can't even control your your recoil you can't well I guess you can control it I don't know, I just see, I don't see how you can have like a lot of control with this man. Uh, if you guys do play with this type of sensitivity, please send me your videos so I can check them out. I, a lot of people, a lot of the new people I see on Reddit or just Rust videos in general, general that are relatively new to Rust, or FPS in that matter, and I was actually one of those guys man, before Rust my background was Minecraft and Daisy. I never played CSGO, like real, I have like 10 hours of CSGO even now. And when you have high sensitivity like that, the only thing that I, can, I think it can benefit is shotgun, the pump shotgun or the pipe shotgun, so you can instantly move and flick your mouse to the target. But when it comes to precision and accuracy and trying to line headshots or long distance shots from a while away, I just feel like low sensitivity and DPI is the consistent and very the best way to go in terms of just accuracy, landing those clutch headshots or whatever you need to do in fights, man. You can ask all the other streamers and content creators of Rust and try to figure out what their DPI sensitivity is. I think me and Trousy and Beachos, I think Beachos has 800 DPI and 0.1 sensitivity. I think Trousy and me have the same settings, 400 DPI and 0.2, uh, set mouse sensitivity and Rust. I'm not too sure, you guys might want to poke around and look around at other Rust content creators and see what they're up to. But um, I also play on 1920 by 1080 resolution. I see a lot of people who come from the uh, CS 1.6 background that uh, that make the resolution smaller to try to make the, uh, I guess, the character model larger. I've personally never did that. I think Trousy and Beachills did that in Legacy, which was a version before Rust. This current Rust, but now they switched to 1920 by 1080. I'm not too sure, man. Like I said, you guys gotta play with it and figure out which which settings are the best for you but just keep in mind that <laughs> uh, you you can only judge on what you could see and like not even Russ included but all the CSGO professionals and a lot of hardcore FPS fanatics they, they tend to play on low DPI and low sensitivity so just keep in mind while going forward next thing we're gonna talk about is hardware like I'm talking like mouse and headphones, not like an amazing PC, but just like the basic necessities, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. When I first came into Rust as a newbie, I guess, I played Minecraft and Daisy before I played Rust. I, I had little to no experience in FPS. I played MapleStory, man, come on. But 
what I found out what ha like what I found out what was happening was I was getting fucking pooped on. I was getting killed by a guy right on my right, and I think he's on my left. I had a Logitech office mouse that I like took from my dad's office. Well, I didn't really steal it; he just gave it to me. And I was playing with that, and that broke, and then I got a wireless mouse, and I didn't even have a mouse pad. I'd get like a fucking piece of paper or a book and use that. But um. Like, you don't even have to buy the best hardware, man. Like, there's there's various options out there. The mouse I have is the uh, Razer Death Adder Elite. And it all depends. Like, everything counts, man. It depends on your hand size. It depends how you like the feel of things and how you grip it. It depends where you like to place your mouse or your, your wrist or your elbow on your table or your chair. It really depends on how you sit and how you are like just because one guy is doing it just doesn't mean if you do it and copy and try to replicate it you'll be successful too um my what i mean by you don't have to buy the most expensive things i don't I have a the razor death that elite is like a 50 dollar mouse and the headphones i'm using is hyper x's which is really good in quality and the reason why i tend to say dude you need to buy good headphones is because game awareness you need to know like people say is this guy ESP being how does he know where I am all the time well it's because I have good headphones and I'm able to hear I like I every time in a fight in my previous videos I tell my friends to sh in team speak or calm so I could hear and pinpoint where the enemy is what's for, for example let's say I'm right here and I hear the guy coming right chances are I'm gonna peek right and wait for him to come and pre-fire him you could also check out all the uh, other f very skilled Rust players out there. They, they tend to have really good headphones themselves, and you could just look at their faces, and, and they're, they're not even looking at anything. They're just hearing. They're just listening for footsteps and where the, trying to pinpoint where their enemy's gonna be. And if you look online, I think the HyperX ones are like fifty, sixty dollars right now. The mouse I'm using is a fifty dollar mouse. I, the mouse pad with it is just turned daytime is five to ten dollars. <laughs> it's not that expensive guys I'm not telling you to go all out and ball out and fucking buy a DX racer chair and like a $250 mamba mouse and <laughs> like the best keyboard that you could find just just play around with it man do your research there's a ton of reviews out there I'll name some companies and brands like Steel Series Corsair Razer uh, Final Mouses Logitech have really good mouses there's, there's a lot of mouses, man. There's a lot of mouses. You just gotta play with it. Uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. Just wanted to talk about specifics and options and just like the hardware that is required for you to play at, you know, a good level, I'd say. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys on the next video. Next video will be how to control recoil and tactics. You guys have a good one. Peace out.